What's up guys, Damien Cooper here, back with another video. I know we haven't seen each other in a while because Belle and I made a lot of changes in our life recently, which we will touch on in later videos because this also regards our professional life. But right now we want to talk about the Xeon Crane. Actually, it's a Weeble Lab counterweight plate um, because we weren't really happy with the Weeble Lab with our EOS R because our setup was way too front heavy. So we kind of held off for uh, a final verdict of the Weeble Lab until we got to try out the small wick counterweight plate uh, in hopes for the camera to be able to shift a little bit towards the backside and be able to actually use bigger setups because our setup weight wise wasn't even close to the maximum weight advertised of the Weeble Lab. So we wanted to try out this counterweight plate in order to make it work for us. So my name is Damien Cooper and welcome to Monkey Fix. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. Okay, I ordered the Weebill Lab counterweight plate by Smallwick and I ordered three of these 100 gram uh, counterweights. I didn't think I really need three of those, but I really wanted to make sure that I have enough weight to counterbalance the front heavy setup of our 24 millimeter 1.4 Canon lens. And in order to do so, I went ahead and ordered three of those. And let me start off by saying that I am really, really disappointed by the small wick counterweight plate because maybe there's a small chance that I'm just too dumb to really use it. You are. But that thing doesn't do anything. So first off, and here's my major issue and this is pretty much a deal breaker for me already because in order to attach the counter plate to the Weebill you have to unscrew all the counterweights and then have to attach the camera, put it onto the Weebill, then attach the counterweights again because otherwise you can't slide off the camera while the counterweights are attached which for me is a big deal breaker because the Weebill lab kind of stands for this really small lightweight quick setup that really defeats the purpose if you have to unscrew, rebalance and screw them on later on again. Um, every time you want to uh, detach the camera for whatever reason whatsoever, if you want to go handheld, if you want to shoot some pictures or just if you want to change the battery, you have to unscrew the counterweights and then rebalance the entire gimbal every time you do that. And that alone for me is a complete deal breaker and I think there should have been some better way. I really can't think of one off the top of my head, but I think this for me is just, as I said, a deal breaker. But maybe it's not for you, so we went ahead and actually tried the whole thing, um, balanced it and wanted to see what it looks like in action. And here's the thing, I wasn't really able to balance this. With one counterweight, it really didn't do anything because this plate is really big and really front heavy by itself, so it kind of defeats the purpose. And then screwing on two of the counterweights still wasn't enough weight to actually counter out the weight of our 24 millimeter, which is kind of weird because it really doesn't take uh, a lot of space for the 24 millimeter to work on the Weebill lab. As for example, the 50 millimeter works fine and you have enough room by itself, but the 24 millimeter is just a tiny bit heavier. So I didn't really think I needed that many counterweights, but even with three counterweights, I wasn't really able to balance the gimbal further in the front Whereas, for example, I could uh, attach the eyepiece again, which is the whole purpose of using the counterweight plate. So for some reason, this plate isn't really balanced enough so that I have to attach three weights in order to achieve the same result that I would have with no counterweight plate whatsoever, which really kind of bummed me out. Because the next thing is these counterweights are so big that if you move the camera further to the back, which is the whole purpose of the counterweight plate, it actually limits your movability a lot because it just hits the uh, one axis on the back of the gimbal whenever you want to do a tilt move. So that kind of defeats the purpose again and we have to move the camera further to the front and then we have the same issue we already had before. Okay, granted, I really didn't put too much effort into trying to find the right balance for the gimbal with the counterweight plate because 
like I said before, deal breaker with the detachment attachment. And I didn't really see the point because I didn't feel, really feel uh, I was able to rebalance this with putting the eyepiece on. But again, I tried it and then once I had the uh, one axis balanced so that it didn't tip over, then there was another issue because this counterweight plate just tilted the entire camera so towards the left side of the gimbal that I really wasn't able to make up for that by sliding the camera to the right side because the EOS R is a little bit bigger than other DSLMs and I wasn't able to move the camera to the right side enough to be able to balance out the heaviness on the left side so it tipped over and there was no chance for me to balance this camera out with this counterweight plate whatever I tried so for the ears are without setup this thing is completely and utterly useless and we couldn't make it work so there's for us at least definitely no point in keeping this or using this because we achieved better results without the counterweight plate which really surprised me because this is the whole purpose of this thing which is really really heavy by itself and like i said we weren't able to move the camera further back with this setup even by an inch or less than that and that really, really surprised me. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Um, and therefore, although I see the Weevil Lab could be really, really great with a smaller lens setup, and again, we don't have any, or with a smaller camera, like the new EOS RP, or maybe a Sony a7 III or something around this size, but the EOS R for us is just too heavy to use it properly with our lenses, our lens setup, with or without a counterweight plate. So yeah, we didn't really do the whole part two of the we build lab review because for our setup there's just no point and we don't have any other smaller camera or smaller setup that we can use with it so for us the we build lab is a no-go we will actually send it back and yeah unfortunately we couldn't make it work with a small rig counterweight plate either again we only tested it with the eos r but honestly i don't think that will do much of anything for a GH5, a 5D Mark IV or any other bigger setup as well because I really don't see how this would balance your camera better with the size of these things. So I don't know, maybe you tried it. Please let me know in the comments if you had better results with any other setup that actually improved your balancing with the uh, counterweight plate. But for us, this is definitely a no-go. So, I'm sorry I don't have any better news for you. Uh, maybe I could have saved you a lot of money if you were thinking about buying this for your ESR and now you're not buying it because of this review, so then I'm happy as well. So, my name is Damien Cooper. Please leave a subscribe and like. We will put out more videos in the future more frequently, I hope. Again, like I said, we have lots of changes in our life professionally as privately as, you know, whatever. So, uh, we'll keep you updated on that and I'll see you on the next one. Let's <laughs> go.